Hi SJB, we are going to make a sock puppet today using things from around the house. So this is what your sock puppet will end up looking like, or it might look somewhat like this. So I'll just show you now. I've gotten a sock, an old sock from around the house. And this is my sock puppet. Oh gosh, my sock puppet's gone a bit wonky. Hang on, bear with me. There is my sock puppet, just like that kindy. So your sock puppet will end up looking something like this. I wanted to make mine a bit wonky. So mine has one eye that you can put two. Um, I keep, I've got this little flashy eyeball that keeps falling off. Um, but this is roughly what your sock puppet will look like. So what you need, you will need a sock, preferably one, um, that's not too thick. So if you can get a sock that's not a really, really thick material, if your dad's a, a tradie um, or your mum or someone you live with is a tradie, those socks can be a bit too thick. You need one that's quite thin, if you see my sock kindy, so that you can um, put holes in it like we need to. I have designed my sock puppet so that you could still use your sock afterwards if you need to. So when, we don't need to ruin our socks. Um, but I found a nice colourful one. So if you can find a nice colourful sock, that'd be great. So first thing you'll need is a sock. You'll then need either some string or I have some ribbon. So I have different kinds of ribbon here that I've used to make my sock puppet's hair. So it's up to you what you can find around the house. Um, ribbon, string, or even um, you could get a tea towel and cut up the tea towel if mum and dad are okay with that. Just something nice and colourful that you can put in in nice uh, thin lines just like that. So this is kind of the width that you want or like this, the width that you want for the sock puppet's hair. Okay, the next thing you'll need um, is some cardboard. I have uh, a cardboard, a roll, pardon me, from the inside of a to toilet roll. If you don't have any cardboard at home, you can get an egg carton from your fridge and cut off the top of the egg carton. And then you can use that for your cardboard. Really anything will do, um, kids, for this. Just You just need some kind of cardboard. Um, so, we, so far we've got our sock, we've got our hair, we've got some cardboard. I've got two rolls just to work with in case I make a mistake. Um, then a red pen, um, ideally, so that we can colour in the mouth of the sock puppet. Um, and most importantly, we need two paper clips so i've already wriggled mine out so it's just like this but you need two paper clips um, and you unravel the paper clip so it makes a straight line just like that so i am going to undo my current sock puppet because i want to be sustainable and good to the environment and not waste material so i'm undoing my current sock puppet um, so give me a moment Whilst I'm doing this, if you want to gather those things, so your cardboard, your ribbon or your string, your two paper clips, um, your sock and a red pen. So all things that you can find from around the house, which is great. Um, I'm just undoing my sock puppet's hair. We can give it a bit of a COVID haircut. Um, so these are all my different, different bits of hair. So right now, if you want to start cutting up um, whatever ribbon or string or whatever you have, getting it ready to make the sock puppet's hair. You can have the, um, the ribbon or the string or whatever you're using, you can have it quite long and then you can trim it down later. You're better off starting with it being a bit longer so that you can trim it. Um, just taking all these bits off. Bear with me. Just taking it off my sock puppet so that I can reuse it. So right now you're, you're trimming up your different pieces of hair or you're lying, laying out your material, your ingredients, you might say, on the table ready to go. You also need a pair of scissors. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. You need a pair of scissors. So I have my sock just as new. This is my sock. 
this is what we'll end up doing. You'll end up putting on your hand kind of like this. Um, what you can do, SJB, is, is have it so that um, mm, this bit, pardon me, this bit, the foot of the sock is down here. So this bit, the heel of the sock, pardon me, should be on the base of your palm. All right. So step number one, <coughs> whilst you've been preparing your ingredients, your material. Um, this is a bit that if you're in kindy, you one or you two, you might want to, um, or even older years, depends on how comfortable you feel, but you might want to get mum and dad's help if you're worried about um, just being careful with this little paper clip. We are just going to um, pinch the sock like this. So this is my sock and I've pinched it just like this. And I'm going to get my paper clip and stick it through. And because my sock's nice and thin, it goes straight through just like that, which is great. And then I'm going to curve the side of my paper clip like that, almost like antlers. And then you should see, it might be a bit fiddly, um, you should see that I might even readjust mine a bit. You basically want to get um, the top of your sock looking like that. So there's a nice bit of distance in between each side of the paper clip. So I'll just show you again in case you missed that. I just got the paper clip, clip that I've stretched out. I pinched my sock just like that and then I pierced it just through there which was nice and easy because my socks thin whereas as I say if you have a, quite a thick sock it would be a bit too tough this is going to be where the eyes will go SJB so um, I'm just gonna make mine a bit wider because I think there needs to be some more space it's very easy to adjust so don't worry if you're not sure if that's the perfect spot um, so I'm going to fold this in on itself like that to make this nice and safe so it's not pointy. This is where you might need mum or dad's help just because they have stronger hands. Maybe you've got a young, an older brother or sister that has quite strong hands. And this is what your sock is looking like. So I've got my pink paper clip, so I might blend a bit to the sock, but I've got one side of the paper clip coming through there, the other side here, and I folded it in on itself. This is where I'll then get, <coughs> pardon me, my toilet paper roll or whatever cardboard you have and then cutting it up so that it makes a nice easy bit of cardboard to use. I'm going to cut circles to make the eyes of the sock puppet. Now if you've got some more fun things that you can use at home like um, a pom-pom or a button um, you could try use them here. I've just chosen cardboard because everybody usually has a piece of cardboard and I didn't want to make it too complicated. So I'm cutting out two circles. They don't have to be perfectly the same. In fact, I like mine to be wonky um, because then it has a bit of character. You get a bit of a lopsided sock puppet. So I've made my two circles just like that of cardboard. I am going to get a green texture now and colour them in to make them nice and colourful eyes. Um, if you had a, a colourful texture from around the house, um, you could colour in these to make your eyes whatever, whatever colour you want, um, just to make it a bit fun. You could even draw a black dot in the middle just to like, like your own eye, like a little black dot um, to make it really lifelike. So I am colouring in my eyes green. Just like this, so I'm colouring them um, to make them fun. So colour, colour, colour. There's my first eye, just made with green. I'm going to colour this next bit, this next circle part of me to make them nice and green. I've got my sock puppet. Um, this is where you'll get your scissors and you might want to make a little hole in the middle. So this is where mum and dad might need to help if you're in the younger years. Just cut a little hole, a little slit there to make it easy for the um, 
the paper clip to go through. The paper clip could probably go through if you're really pushed, but I don't want you to hurt yourself. So um, you're then going to get the eye that you've made and poke um, one side of your paper clip through so that you've got the eye coming. I'll show you in a moment so you kind of understand what I'm talking about. So you're piercing each side of the um, paper clip into your piece of paper. So as you can see with mine here, so I've colored in my piece of cardboard and then I've put this I've pierced that through as you would do with a, a needle, but we're using a, a paper clip so it's nice and safe. Um, and this is where if you had a pom-pom or, or um, even here, as you see, I've got this little bead. You could, if you had something fun from around the house, um, you could put it on. So I'll show you here what that might look like just for fun. Um, your eye might look a bit fancier, um, which would be great. So you've got two eyes on either side fantastic so <laughs> the next bit this is what your sock puppet looks like so far um, is you're cutting up your different pieces of ribbon or string if you haven't all started already um, and then we're going to thread so put down your string for a moment pardon me and again you're going to pinch the top of your sock puppet so just like we did to put the um, paper clip through for the eyes. I'm now going to pinch a little bit further up. So here are my eyes and I've just gone a little bit further up um, where sort of the head of the sock puppet would be and I'm, I'm piercing this through. Bear with me. So I'm piercing this through. Um, as you can see here, I'll try to show you. There are my eyes. I've almost made it look like there's antlers at the top now. I've threaded this through. I then want this to make a circle. So I'm going to try wrap it so it makes a circle. And so the pointy bits are not sticking up as if they'd hurt you. You want to make sure it's nice and safe. Um, so I've just made it like a circle like that. It's, it's very loose. As you can see, nothing fancy. You just want it crossed over on itself so it, it gives you a kind of like a circle like that. So just so we're clear, here are your eyes at the front and then I've pinched the top and I've thread my paper clip through, just there. I'm now going to get my pieces of ribbon and I'm tying them onto that um, circle, kind of like a circle. I'm gonna start tying them on. So you just, you're just getting each piece of ribbon or string and, and you're threading it through just like you would a shoelace and then tie. So I'll show you here, I thread it through and then I just tie. And this is why it's fun to have lots of different colors if you can because then you can make funky hair. Um, don't um, be worried if your little eyes fall off as you're doing this, because it's not super, super um, secure and, and locked on, things can move around, but you can just adjust it at the end. So I'm getting all my different colored ribbons and I'm tying them on so that I can make a crazy hairstyle I'm lucky I, I stole some of my twin sister's ribbons. She's a teacher as well, so she has a craft box. So I'm getting lots of different colors that I've cut up. So if you don't have enough, cut up some more ribbon now so that you can make all these different colors to make it nice and fun. Got this nice, pretty stripy one now. But I did use a tea towel on my first one, um, SJB. So I cut up a tea towel to make tiny little slithering um, 
slitters of, of color. And um, so my hair is starting to shape up, um, which is fun. But you could just be using kitchen, kitchen cooking string. Um, my hair is coming together now. This is kind of what it's looking like, SJB. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hair's getting crazier and crazier. Um, going to add a little bit more because why not? There we go. Now my sock puppet's looking nice and crazy. So the next step now that we've, um, so I'll just recap what we've done. So we've got our first safety pin after pinching at the front of our sock, we've threaded that through. We've then cut out our eyes and um, push the safety pin through, through the, um, the eyes, just like that and hooked them around very loosely. Um, and then we've got our second safety pin, so we only need two. Uh, pardon me, not safety pin. Uh, um, paper clip, sorry. But now second paper clip, and, and we've made a circle here is for our hair. Next step, you're going to cut out a circle, sort of like this. This is one for my egg cut, and I'm going to cut out a new one now, though, just to show you. So I'm using my um, toilet paper roll again is nice for being sustainable we're using things around the house so we don't need to go to the shops particularly because it's COVID so we want to limit the amount of times so we're going to the shops at the moment so I'm going to cut a nice round circle here and this is going to be the mouth of my puppet so I'm cutting sorry I should really hold it up to the camera a bit more so you can see more of what I'm doing um, Cutting my circle right now, it's a bit wonky, that's all right. I'll make it a bit better. You could draw, you could have um, draw the circle first if you want to make it a bit, um, a bit neater. And then you know that what your circle is going to look like and then folding it in half, folding it like that, almost like a taco, just like a taco. I'm then going to color in my piece of paper. I'm coloring it in red like a mouth. You could color it in any color. Um, so I'm coloring it in. Um, to make it like a mouth. Just like this. So. You can do the same as me if you like. Um, you could do something a bit, a bit funkier. I'm just doing a. I'm not um, as tidy as I usually would be because I'm wanting to show you. But you could be really, really neat, making a nice tidy sock puppet. that's I've just done a messy one now just so that I can show you so I then put my hand into my sock puppet and I get my other hand and I poke in so that I'm making a mouth so I want to make it so that it kind of makes a, a mouth like that can you see the sock was here and now I've poked it in and then I'm getting my piece of cardboard and you can just rest it in here. If you have glue, I, I've chosen not to use glue just in case people don't have glue at home. There's only, um, not all kinds of glue really helps with a, a sock, um, but you can just stick it in so it, um, it stays like that, just like that. And that's the mouth. Um, I also chose not to use glue because then I can use this sock again because Maybe you don't have a spare sock that you can spare. Um, so there's my sock puppet mouth. I'm going to give my sock puppet a little bit of a haircut now. This is what you could do as well. 
I'm just going to take the mouth out for a second. It's nice and adjustable. I'm going to cut the hair to make it a bit tamer. You could try and make a funky hairstyle. Maybe you could do some plaits, maybe a ponytail, maybe a mullet, something fun. Um, maybe do the haircut that your mum won't let you have at COVID, during COVID. <laughs> So I'm just trimming the hair to make it a bit shorter. So now my hair is a bit shorter. That's fun. I have actually found that the egg carton is a lot, um, the egg carton, the cardboard's a lot better than the toilet paper roll you might find differently, but this one seems to be a bit sturdier. Um, but I'll show you again with the red, the red one that we've just made. So you've got a nice mouth. And that's your sock puppet kindy. So this is where you could glue if you wanted to, but I've chosen not to. This is your sock puppet. And so you can make a puppet show. So if you enjoyed this SJB, what you can do is use your puppet and make a video of you doing a, a puppet show that you can show your friends. Um, you can always send your video through to your teacher Remember, we're wanting to be very safe using the internet, so you need to ask your mum and dad who um, who they're okay with you sending the video to if you're going to send one. So um, we'd love it if you if you want to send it to the teacher to, to show us what beautiful sock puppets you made. You could make more than one if you wanted to so that they can have a, a conversation just like this. Um, but yeah, here is a, this is your SJB sock puppet uh, made from Ming's from around the house making sure that you can still use your sock afterwards if you want to. And um, hopefully that's nice and easy for mum and dad to organize these materials because they're all things that you can find lying around the house. And most importantly, we've been very sustainable and, and friendly to the environment because we haven't needed to buy anything, um, which is really cool. So that's your sock puppet, SJB. I hope you enjoyed making that with me. Um, if I was a bit fast as I was explaining things or you didn't really see what I was doing, you can rewatch the video and play and pause as you wish. Um, but otherwise, enjoy!